Did you know Palafin appears to be based on a dolphin and a comic book superhero? The lack of visual changes between Palafin's zero form and its pre-evolution, Finison, is inspired by the trope of superheroes assuming civilian identities to keep their true identity a secret. During battle, Palafin needs to be swapped out with another Pokemon in a party to become its hero form. Its hero form seems to reference the hero suiting up whilst unseen and emerging as a hero that saves the lives of innocents. The names of Palafin's forms and ability alludes to the idiom from zero to hero, which means to transform from a position of insignificance or failure to one of great success or admiration. It celebrates the journey of a hero from humble beginnings to triumphant success. Finizen evolves to Palafin starting at level 38 and is leveled up while connected to another player via the Union Circle. Level 38 may be a reference to the year that Superman debuted. Palafin is also known as a Pelagic Protector and the Hero of the Ocean as it has a reputation of saving people and Pokemon from drowning. In fact, the connection between dolphins and superheroes may be inspired by the accounts of wild dolphins saving people in open seas. Phalanx appears to be based on Spartan soldiers in phalanx formations, where each unit is lined up close together and they hold their shields to cover all sides. It's not inspired by it, but Phalanx does kind of resemble a golden caterpillar or centipede. One reason for Phalanx being a squad instead of a single Pokemon may be referencing the Lost Legion. The Lost Legion, or also called the Ninth Legion, is a group of Roman soldiers who were last documented in the United Kingdom but then vanished without a trace from Roman bookkeeping. It's often thought that they either died in battle or settled down permanently in Britain. Fidol and Duxban is based on a combination of the Duxhund breed of dog and baked bread. The sausage dog is known for its elongated body and stubby short legs. The blend of the two concepts could be a pun on purebred dogs, as it looks like it is completely made of bread, hence the term purebred, and it may be pure breeding, which means the dogs have a consistent genetic lineage. Pokemon has even collaborated with a food company to make a real baked bread snack based on Fido. The darker colours of its evolution and its signature ability, well-baked body, may reference the Mallard reaction, which is an organic chemical reaction that gives cooked foods their distinctive browned colours, flavours and aromas. You need the combination of a high enough temperature, amino acids and proteins and reducing sugars to promote the production of flavour compounds as part of the Mallard reaction. The Burmy line is based on the bagworm moth, grub-like insects that gather whatever material it can from its environment, such as twigs and leaves, to create a cocoon around itself. Burmy has three different cloak forms depending on the location of where you find a Pokemon. The green plant coat in grassy areas, the beige sandy coat in caves and beaches, and the pink trash coat near urbanized regions. Moreover, male Burmies turn into Motham, whereas female Burmies change into Wormadam. Similar to its real-life inspiration, a male bagworm will metamorphosize into a full-grown flying moth, while female bagworms remain in their cocoons as a pupa-like creature. They don't undergo that same metamorphosis, and they even sometimes move around by dragging their cocoon behind it. Pidgey visually resembles a passerine bird. Particularly, it looks like a house sparrow. Sometimes it's not that deep. Apparently, Pidgey is just one example of a Pokemon that shows the value of a standard design without much of a twist. Another bird, the design of the Pedo evolutionary line, is rooted in pigeons with a heart motif added. Specifically, Pedo is based on a pigeon, Tranquil is based on an oriental turtle dove, and Umphizent is based on a pheasant. There is a wordplay between pigeons and hearts in Japanese, so they embedded hearts into the design, such as a heart on Pedo's chest and a heart on Unpheasant's face. Lycanroc and Rockruff are based on wolves with a temporal element. Rockruff evolves into the midday form during the day, the midnight form during the night, and the dusk form during the evening if it has the ability on tempo. Rockruff is associated with rocks and mountains, and its color appears to resemble a dog collar. Reading its Pokédex entries, Rockruff is considered a good Pokémon for beginners, but its disposition becomes rougher and more aggressive as it grows up, particularly when it gets close to evolving. 
midday form lichen rock has a contrasting demeanor to its midnight form, being calm, collected, and cautious. Midnight form lichen rock takes inspiration from werewolves, showing a much more reckless, aggressive, and vicious temperament compared to the midday form. While the midday form tries to avoid needless fighting, the midnight form becomes excited at battling strong opponents and fights with reckless abandon. In Japanese, dusk form lichen rock is called twilight lichen rock. Twilight covers both dusk and dawn, and twilight is when the sun is below the horizon. Dusk form lichen rock represents a combination of the midday and midnight forms, and its orange color may be based on sunrises and sunsets. Its stance, calm demeanor, and loyal nature are shared with the midday form, but it also shares the midnight form's fighting spirit, including the red glowing eyes when it attacks. Dusk form lichen rock's green eyes and method of evolution is based on a rare green flash optical phenomenon where green light can sometimes briefly be seen above the sun. The inspiration behind this Pokemon boils down to taking mountain wolves and werewolves while adding the element of a day-night cycle to the three different forms of lichen rock. Mountain wolves represent the midday form lichen rock, werewolves represent the midnight form lichen rock, and the balance between day and night is represented by dusk form lichen rock. When making starter Pokemon, Game Freak always keeps their typing as grass, fire, and water. They try to use animals that are familiar to everybody, and they try to assign each starter a distinct personality. For instance, T-Pig is supposed to be the funny one, Snivy is supposed to be the cool one, and Oshawa is supposed to be the serious one. In the case of Emboa, they decided to combine the concept of a pig and fire. Check out my flaming pig, yo! The image of Zhang Fei from Romance of the Three Kingdoms was also incorporated into Emboa's design. For the Unova starters, Game Freak decided to make the Pokemon's evolution symbolize the cultures of Japan, the West, and China. The quote specifically says the West, but in Superior's case you could say France, as they mentioned Lady Oscar from the Rose of Versailles as a key inspiration. Superior comprises the concept of a European knight and a grass snake, as someone told Game Freak that grass goes well with reptiles. Furthermore, Game Freak gave Snivy a set of hands and legs so that it doesn't seem as frightening as it becomes more like a snake. The last starter to be designed for Gen 5 was Samurot, which synthesizes the ideas of a Japanese samurai, sea otters, and sea lions. Game Freak stated that when they came up with the idea of Dewat removing the shell from his stomach to use as a weapon, they felt that they had succeeded in making him a samurai. Yusuke Omura stated that he visited a live otter exhibit to get inspiration for designing the Oshawa line, but there happened to be a sea lion show nearby. When he was looking at the sea lions, he thought, they look so strong, which is how he came up with the concept of Samurot. It seems that Game Freak seems to come up with the final evolution, then work backwards to design the first and second stages of a Pokemon. The Tynamo line was also designed by Yusuke Omura, and it's based on Eos and how they physically mature in the real world. Specifically, his experience of catching a humongous eel in a nearby river and trying to evoke the feeling of strong but disgusting was a key origin for the Tynamo line. This is a bit of conjecture, but Tynamo looks like a leptocephalus, the larval stage of the eel with its laterally compressed body. Electric resembles a lamprey, particularly with its mode of feeding and the shape of its mouth. Its typing parallels electric eels in real life. Milksery looks like a drop of milk or a blob of cream. Some relevant trivia is that it was actually really difficult to capture movements too fast to be seen by the human eye on camera. It was not until the year 1957 when students in the Massachusetts Institute of Technology managed to capture the motion of a milk drop using stroboscopic photography. Stroboscopes generate fleeting, repeated bursts of light, enabling an observer to quickly view moving objects in a series of static, as if frozen images, rather than a single continuous blur. The milk drop coronet is among the most influential images of all time, as it was a technological milestone in expanding the boundaries of photography as a medium. Maractus has Mexican inspirations, as when it performs intricate dances and melodies, it emits a sound like a maraca. It is also inspired by flowering cacti, like the prickly pears and bunny ears cactus. 
Maractus is predominantly found in arid desert regions as it stores water and moisture in its cactus-like body with abilities like water absorb and storm drain. Another ability that Maractus can have is chlorophyll, which raises speed in harsh sunlight and alludes to how cacti often grow in hot desert areas. Here are a few honourable mentions where the inspiration might not be as clear-cut. Sivo looks like Swiper from Dora the Explorer. Unless you can swipe the bullet from my gun, I suggest you get your kleptomaniac butt out of town. Petrat resembles a scout carrying out reconnaissance to gather information, whereas its evolution watchhog resembles a road worker, mainly because of its yellow stripes forming a safety vest. Slackoff is based on a sloth that became motivated as Vigoroff and in deciding it wasn't worth the effort. Cricketune has some musical elements in its design, as a cricket resembling a conductor from its moustache, cape-like wings and baton-like forelimbs. And now, a poem. By Cricketune. Thank you for tuning in to watch this video. If you enjoyed the video, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit the bell notification so you can be updated anytime I post a video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in to check out my videos and supporting my channel and I'll catch you in the next one.